Good morning, y'all. It's Libby with Gemini Homestead. Or should I say, it's actually late morning, early afternoon, so we're going to call this brunch. But I was making a, uh, a pan of stuffed biscuits, and I thought, well, I'll do a video. I started making these, I don't know, 15 plus years ago, and I had started making them with canned biscuits, but, you know, over the years, I'm making them you know, with fresh biscuits. But I want to start off by saying, if you don't make biscuits, that's fine. You can still do this recipe. Just buy you a can of the layer flaky large biscuits. As long as they have the layers in them, you'll be fine. But I make my own biscuits and what I do is, I'm going to freeze them. Um, and that way, once they're baked and they're froze, my husband can grab one, nook it in the microwave, or if we're at home, I'll put it in a toaster oven and reheat it. And you know, it's breakfast on the go. It's almost like a biscuit hot pocket, if you will. But to my bowl here, I've got two cups of self-rising flour. I've got a stick of salted butter. And it's already broke up in chunks. I just kept it in the uh, fridge until I could get all my ingredients ready. So I'm just gonna break this butter up and plus, this also, uh, for the ones that might have missed my biscuit video many months back, well, here it is again. Once you learn how to make biscuits, you'll never buy canned biscuits. But I'll tell you what, uh, if you're out camping, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with grabbing a couple of canned biscuits and make this at your campsite. That way you're not having to tote the flour, the rolling pin, and all of that. Nothing wrong with a canned biscuit. All right, I'm just going to set this paper over here for right now. And as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff back here, but we'll get to that. So that was just two cups self-rising flour and a stick of cold diced butter. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to break this butter up till it resembles peas. It doesn't take that long and I'm using a pastry cutter. You can use a fork. Uh, you can use your fingers just as long as you crumble it into a pea size. You'll be able to tell. It's a little hard to do it on this table uh, because normally I do it on the countertop. But since I've got my table out, I said, well, and I've got my uh, saran paper here. I'm just going to do it right here with the camera. So it's going to stick to my, uh, my pastry cutter because I'm not able to spin my bowl. If I, did it, if I was doing it at my countertop, my bowl spins. I don't have to turn my bowl because it's a slick surface. And it's almost there. The longest part of this full recipe, I would say would be the biscuit making. But you'll see why you have to have layer biscuits for this recipe. And now y'all can, now I'm gonna do this without onions or bell pepper, uh, just in case the grandkids come over. But I tell you what's really good if you can get some chorizo, uh, really any kind of sausage, because breakfast sausage is going in this. And then add onions and bell pepper, a little cumin, and uh, put that little southwest twist on it. But you'll get the concept. So however you like your eggs, you can do bacon. I mean, it's, it's endless options when you start stuffing this. Endless, endless. Okay, I think I'm just about there. I'm not used to something being low. I'm used to being a little bit higher. Okay, I am there. So I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to make a well. One cup of milk. Now you can use a cup of buttermilk. Sometimes I just put a tablespoon of vinegar to my cup of milk and I just let it rest. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes. That's instant buttermilk. But this time we're just going to use straight milk. Whole milk. One cup. Biscuits is real easy. Now all I'm doing with the wooden spoon is I'm basically folding this around till that flour absorbs that milk. This is where you can make or break your biscuits. If you're too heavy handed and you're stirring, you're going to have a heavy biscuit. If you're gentle with it, you're gonna have a light biscuit. And like I said, all I've done is lightly fold. 
just to incorporate that flour, butter, and milk. And it's going to be very sticky. So I'm fixing to put it out. Now, I'm out of parchment paper, but saran wrap works just as good. All right, we're going to come out. I'm trying to keep the camera so you can see it. We're just going to come out and pile this sticky dough up. But you know what? This sticky dough is fixing to make some good biscuits. Now, I'm not going to leave that in that pot. No, 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 no. I'm going to get it out. Let me get it scraped out. I mean, that's almost a half a biscuit still left in there. There we go. Okay, now, we've got it in there. Now I'm going to go wash my hands, set this off in the sink, let this rest. I normally let it sit like this at least two minutes. And then we're going to start making dinner. Okay, y'all, my hands are washed. I'm just trying to put a little bit of flour, not much, just enough to where I can start working the dough. Now, I'll go ahead and let you know what y'all, I'm going to bring you closer to the stove. The only thing I have done prior to making these biscuits is I browned, crumbled, crumbled up three sausage patties. Um, I crumbled up and browned them, and they're sitting off to the side in a skillet, but I'm going to bring y'all over here to that part. So, those are, that crumbled sausage is already cooked now, and it's sitting off to the side. So, it's ready to go. Now, I'm just going to take one side of this, and I'm going to kind of lightly mash that flour that I put in there so it doesn't stick. Now, see, I've got a little bit here. So, wherever you see is sticky, just put your little flour. Now, you can use your hands. I just happen to have this out. Now, I'm going to come over to the other side, and I hope y'all can get a visual. And I'm going to take underneath, and I'm just going to fold it in half. So, now I've got a... A taco you know it's no different you know you folded it in half now it's going to be sticky right here see Let me get a little bit more flour on here where I can work my hands perfect all right so we went from one side to the other okay this is where your layers come in and I wish I could bring the camera they need to be pieces of butter now I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it again, but I'm going to fold it towards me. Basically, it's just like a square. Okay? And I'm lightly pressing. And as you can see, it's sticky, but it's not going to be sticky long. Now I'm going to go the other way. Okay, so I've only done four corners. That's it. Or four sides. And that's all we've done at this point. And I'm trying to go slow so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to go back again. So this is going to be your second round. So where I'm working, I'm working left first. Let me get a little flour with my hands. Oh, that's so pretty. Then we're going to go back to the right. And you can start in any direction as long as you're making your four squares. A little bit more flour. And you see, I'm only doing a light dusting of flour. I'm not, I'm not going crazy with my flour. Okay, we're going to come back again. And then one more time. And then you're going to see me turn the dough. Like I said, I'm going very slow so you can follow. Okay, one more time. And the only thing that this saran wrap or clear wrap is doing, I'm able to put pressure on without coming up with sticky hands. And that's, you don't have to do this. You could flour your surface. I'm doing this for cleanup purposes. I may have a little flour on the surface, but not if I just, you know, would, didn't use no saran wrap or something. Now, this is where I've got to fold it over. I'm going to use this because it's very sticky on the bottom. Now, I have completely folded it over. 
okay? Because we got to get some of this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, some of this flour on here. Now, the bottom now has flour. So we're going to pick it up, move it over to the center so we can work with it. And now I can work with it with my hands. So I'm going to take one side, fold it over. This is going to be number three. We're almost there. Because what I'm trying to do is get as many layers in it as I can because I need it layered in order to do what I'm doing. I'm going to take it over here. So I went right, top, left. So you see the corners I'm making. Perfect. And one more fold and I think we will be there. Oh yes, perfect. Okay, now this is where we're going to get our rolling pin out. But right now all I'm going to do is try to get it uniformed in my hands, with my hands, before I get the roll of pin. That way, I'm not fighting uh, different sizes to the biscuit. So if I can get the dough uniformed, and you wouldn't put this much work into it, and, and it's really not, like I said, I'm going slow, but we're gonna be stuffing these biscuits. Okay, here's the roll of pin. Let me get a little flour. I mean, working with dough is fun anyway. And I'm just going to lightly go. Remember, a light hand gets you a fluffy biscuit. A heavy hand is going to get you a baseball. And it takes a little practice, but I'm telling you, don't let biscuit making be intimidating. And I'm actually going to show y'all the layers that's in here. Now, normally I would stop right here if I was making just a biscuit, but I'm going to go a little bit thinner because remember, we're stuffing these biscuits, but I would have normally stopped right here. We like a good thick biscuit. Okay, I think I've got it just where I want it. Now, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do my cuts. Oop, let me need some flour over here. Always remember, get you a little corner of flour and set your cutter in there. And don't twist. You're going to go down and up. This dough is very, very forgiving. Okay, right now, we've got six biscuits. And I think that's about all I'm going to need anyway. But we're going to roll them on out because that way I can freeze them and already have a couple of biscuits. Now, this is why I did so many rolls, folds. Can y'all see the layer? See how that bottom's going to come off? But here's a better picture. Let me see. Where is the, where's the camera? It's over here, right? Y'all see, don't y'all just love me? I never know where the camera is. Um, here we go. Can you see those layers? That's why I kept folding. Now, I apologize that I didn't know which side to can. Well, I said I didn't have a mess. I do. That's called real life, y'all. Uh, especially in Lippy's Kitchen. Now, I have greased this tin pan with just, uh, well, I use lard, but you could use a little Crisco, butter, but you do need to grease it. Oh, and set your oven on 425. I should have told you that. But I'm just going to set these down. Now, don't compact them, you know, uh, when you're making the biscuits. I'm just setting them down in this pan for a minute. There's a reason to my madness. We're not going to bake them like this now. I'm just putting them in my biscuit pan because I've got to set them up until I get my filling done. And then I'll pull them out and get them in my muffin tin. Because they're going to have to go into the uh, fridge or the freezer 
Um, if you, you know, if you didn't cook your sausage first, they need to go into the freezer. No more than five minutes. Because what we're going to do, we're going to peel those layers apart. And like I said, if you don't want to do the biscuits, that's fine. You can uh, just buy you a can of layered biscuits. But I'm going to use up all my biscuit dough because like I said, I'll have biscuits put up now that we can, that we can cook for ourselves. What I don't use. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna get this cleaned up and I'm gonna move the uh, camera, set it in the right spot this time. Okay, we're at the stove, y'all. And like I said, I had three sausage patties that I crumbled and I browned. Now all I'm doing is reheating up my skillet. I've already got six eggs scrambled. You'll see them go in with a little bit of cream uh, just to fluff them up. So I'm figuring about six eggs to six to eight biscuits. Remember the biscuits are sitting in the fridge because I already had my meat done. All right, now it's starting to heat up. I've got a well. I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon of butter. That's it, just a tablespoon of butter. Get that melted, and then I'm gonna pour the eggs right in. Like I said, this is where you can use your own meat, uh, onions, bell peppers, anything that you think you would like in an omelet. Spinach is really, really good. But remember, we're stuffing it in a biscuit. Yep, stuffing it in a biscuit. And I've already got my muffin pan buttered. So they'll come right out. I should have had this heated up a little bit more, but it's fine. It's melting now. All right, now I'm going to come in with the six beaten eggs and a little cream. You can use half and half. You can use milk. Uh heavy whipping cream, and it will fluff those eggs up. It sure will. Tell you what, I'm gonna set this in the sink. Now, can y'all tell it's been a rough morning? I almost wanted to put y'all in the sink. Remember a while ago I said, let me take you over there to the sink. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have made this a live video. Now that would have been funny. And yeah, I got flour on the floor too. I told y'all some mornings, I'm going to tell you. Which I know all of y'all got mornings like, lie to me, tell me you got mornings like this. Now I'm going to keep these moving. Because I really want them to set up. Now I'll tell you something, if uh, some of you don't know how to make an omelet, the meat doesn't go in first. Set your eggs, scrambled eggs in there, or your beaten eggs. Take your spatula, whatever you're using, and move them eggs around. You're gonna think, no, that's scrambling. No, you're lightly moving them. What it is, it's rolling that liquid egg, and then once you start losing that liquid, stop turning them, because I'm not really going down to the bottom much. Then it'll form its pancake, and that's when you can fold over, and then when you fold over again, you've got the perfect omelet. The perfect omelet. All right, now I'm gonna turn it down some. And y'all could leave the meat out if you wanted to. Just have eggs and spinach and salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna put cheddar cheese on top of these, uh, stuffed biscuits because that's what uh, buddy my husband likes I got y'all way up in the air I'm thinking now I can find the camera I don't have my contacts in y'all so <laughs> I didn't feel like wearing them and I've got a pair of glasses but uh oh yeah I found my glasses now <laughs> it's one of them mornings but the sun's coming out, and I'm glad because it was really gloomy this morning. 
it, it was like it wanted to rain and, and I've got a fly. Let the sun come out and have food, you're going to have a fly. I don't understand it. Don't understand it. All right, so I'm going to get these going because I'm literally just going to scramble them and stop there. And we're going to go to the last step. And I'm going to move the camera so you can see even closer. Hey, y'all. Want to make sure y'all can see. All right, the layered biscuits. And the reason why we're going to come in we're going to take one part, leave three parts down. We're going to take just the top half of this biscuit. And you'll see why. But I wanted to do this with the camera on so y'all could see what I was doing. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, you see, I just took a small top off. Now, this is where I'm going to come in and I'm going to mash my biscuit, the bottom part down, which is about three quarters of the biscuit. Let me get it in here. And then I'm just going to mash it down and make a well. And like I said, buy you a can of layered biscuits. And I'm going to come in with the stuffing. And it doesn't take much. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of cheese. Now we got to put the hat on. And I just kind of mash it around in my hands because I want it to cover. Because I'm going to do this first one, that way y'all can see how it's done. Okay, everything's inside the well. We're going to come in with this hat. We're going to take that hat, lay it on there. But then we're going to take it and tuck it right inside this muffin tin. The bottom and the top, as it bakes, will bake together. And it will resemble, well actually it just look just like a biscuit muffin. But it's stuffed. So, you know, this is something, like I say, you can make ahead. I took the time to show you how to make the biscuits in case you didn't know how. If you wanted to save time, you could actually have your, you know, your breakfast meat done, open you a can, or if you have uh, biscuits you've done and put up in the freezer, um, and they have some layers where you can separate, but I want to take you step by step by how I do it. So I'm going to get the rest of these done, and then we're going to see how many we ended up with. I know I'm going to have left over eggs and sausage, but I wanted that because I need to eat. So well, let's get all this done and then I'll bring you back and we put them in the oven. Now we got six stuffed biscuits. I'm just going in with a little bit of milk and I'm going to lightly brush the top. Now you could use melted butter if you wanted to. I just prefer the milk. It's just going to give it that little golden color. Plus, it's going to hold some moisture in on the top as that bottom bakes. Now, I've never actually timed it, but I will time it for this video. We're going to set the timer going in, and then when I come back to show you what they look like, I'll be able to tell you how long. Remember, the oven's at 425. Okay? So, going to go in the oven. Well, that's good, y'all. You're going to have to try it. All right, let me look at the clock. I'm going to guess 20. Could be wrong, but we'll find out. Well, y'all, it took 20 minutes in the oven, just like I thought. Now, I did have uh, plenty of eggs and sausage left over uh, for Buddy and I to each just have a sandwich, a sample. But I do have a hot biscuit here that's stuffed. Now, if you did the canned biscuits, I believe there's eight biscuits in a can. I actually had enough to do the other two. Um, but we wanted to go ahead and eat the eggs. And I put the other two in the freezer. Therefore, I can bring them out, put them in the toaster oven before he goes to work. And he can have a biscuit. But I would not do, if you only want to do stuffed biscuits... Four large eggs will be plenty 
for eight biscuits because you're only really using a half of a scrambled egg per biscuit. Uh, so, yeah, y'all, this is a, uh, oh, it's hot, hot. This is one of our favorites. Now, I'm, and the reason why I've got it out, and I'm just going to wrap it up, but I want y'all to see the center. Now, you saw the picture I did as soon as they come out of the oven. That way y'all could see what they look like on a plate. Uh, oh, and it's hot. But you see, it is, well, biscuit here, biscuit here, stuffing in the middle. But I used to do these with the uh, canned biscuits because it's a shorter time and the layers do peel better than your scratch biscuits because you have to put them in the refrigerator or the freezer, but you don't want to freeze freeze them. That way you can pull that top layer off. Um, and I don't mind doing it because I need to make biscuits and I'm going to make another batch of biscuits and put them in the freezer. But you don't have to do all of this. Just go get you a can of biscuits. That's how I started and it and it worked just, just fine. But I hope you try the stuffed biscuits. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. But you know it's going to have the word biscuit. It's going to have the word stuffing in it. So until next time, God bless.